As we know, we just changed the clock, and darkness is earlier now, and the danger is that lurk outside for being in an area which is dark, and especially a large segment of the community that walks around in dark colored clothing. First of all, we've just picked up another case of reflector belts from the Ocean County Traffic and Safety Division. Uh, anyone who would like to avail themselves for a free reflector belt, again, only if you wear it, this is going to sit in your drawer, we're not giving them out, but if you, uh, if you affirm that you'll wear the belt, we'll be giving them out for free, certainly contact me in the mayor's office, we have reflector belts we'd like to give out for free. Number two, there are many street lights that are out in town, and we all see them, we drive down the streets, and we see those street lights out in town. JCPNL tells us, we'll fix the street light, but only if you tell us. And of course we have people saying, they've told JCPNL, and still they haven't been fixed. Mayor Lichtenstein, our street light liaison, has taken the initiative of not paying the street light bill until they are fully fixed. And as a matter of fact, we're holding the most recent one here as well. We're not paying the bill until they're fixed. I'd like to propose the following request. November 27th, which is not this Sunday, but the following Sunday, next Sunday, I'd like to ask the volunteers to meet me here in this auditorium, November 27th. Let's meet here in the evening. What I'd like to do is get as many volunteers as possible, and I have already now some volunteers from some of the organizations who are working with the big township map of making different zones. I'd like in one night to get about 60 volunteers, 70 volunteers, to come here with cars. We'll give you each a flashlight, and to be able to be here, we'll give you a little zone. Each zone should take about 20 minutes. Drive that zone and see what street lights are out. Every poll has a number. We'd like to get every poll in this town to see. And in one night, I'd like to canvas the town and see what street lights are out and be able to go back to JCP and I'll say, here, this is the official list. We're presenting it to you. We've canvassed the entire town of all the street lights that are out. We want them fixed. We want them fixed now, before there's another fatality. So I'm hoping, I, I hope the, the media puts this message out. I hope everyone hears this. I need volunteers on the evening of November 27th, Sunday night, to meet me here in town hall, right here in this auditorium. We'll give you each a map, pads, a pen, a flashlight, and go out to the various areas. The, the dangerous roadways, such as Route 9 and other dangerous roadways, will be obviously be taken care of by OEM personnel and, and emergency service personnel, but the side streets which are safe for people to drive down those high streets and to help me get a tracking and an account of how many street lights are out, where they are, what locations they are, to be able to notify JCPNL. And not only that, I've uh, yes, the township, uh, our, our officials here, will be setting up an extension in town hall. I know JCPNL always says call them in JCPNL, and of course you never hear from them again. I ask the town hall to set up an extension. P O L E. Dial town hall's number, 364 2500, like regular town hall, and then press P O L E for poll. If you have a street light out near your house, I want to know what address, where it's at, and what the poll number is. Once and for all, we're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to find every street light that's out. Call me the mayor of the street lights, but before my term is up, we're going to get every street light turned on in this town. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I'll just make a suggestion here. First of all, we could just pass the message on to the chief and have uh, one or two of the supervisors from that shift that night meet you here with the volunteers so that they know what's happening when they start getting calls about cars parked in various locations around town. And, and also perhaps we could ask JC Penal to send a crew or a road, one crew or road supervisor here so that when people go out, he or she can very clearly tell the volunteers what it is that JC Penal needs, give them an education, and he gets called in, this is exactly what we're looking for.